Many revved those engines to help victims of interpersonal violence Saturday. There's so many car shows going on, but when I heard that this event was supporting the Center for Violence Prevention, there was no doubt where I wanted to be. The Baldwin Lee Funeral Home in Pearl posted their first car show benefiting the Center for Violence Prevention. The center helps victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, and survivors of homicide. We work 24-7. All of our services are free and confidential uh, to victims of crime. Dave Warman has a 1955 Thunderbird. He and friends have been working to build this red beauty since 2017, finally finishing it this spring. It, of course, won a competition this afternoon, but Dave's purpose for coming out has more to do with the organization it's benefiting. I'm not often at a loss for words, but um, I, that's almost, I almost find myself speechless. Uh, you know, to know what they do and the difference that they make in the lives of these children and their families is astronomical. And Executive Director Sandy Middleton believes serving the Center for Violence Prevention is something she is called to do. You know, I've just, I don't know, it's more than a job for me. I'm supposed to be here and it's, uh, it's hard work, but it's one of the most important things I've ever done. The show and raffles raised over $3,000 for the organization. Grayson Gordon joining us live now tonight. Now, Grayson, this is an organization that apparently can help a lot of people. How can someone get in touch with them? Yes, definitely, Scott. They have a 24-hour hotline that you can call at any time, and that number is on your screen below. But this, they are also located on Robert Street here in Pearl. Live in Pearl, Grayson Gordon, 16 WAPT News.